have you ever traveled and packed your workout gear and felt so motivated when you were packing and then got to your destination and you actually didn't get to use it at all trust me i know that feeling and you are not alone hi fitness freaks welcome to my youtube channel and um happy easter i hope you're having an amazing holiday with yourself your family your friends whoever it is you're spending it with in this video i'm literally going to give you some hints to help you maximize your travel and work out if you want to and just relax if you don't want to and in the end i'm going to share a special surprise i'll give you like a hint to my next video because it's going to be dramatic i thought about making this video because i traveled for the weekend um, to see my parents and to spend the easter holiday with them and while i was packing i kind of paused for a moment and thought to myself if i wanted to work out over the holiday and um considering the fact that my goal for 2019 is to work out four times a week as i when i was to travel i'd only worked out two times so i knew i had two more days to go in my workout schedule however i didn't feel like packing my workout shoes i just felt like i needed some more space at that time so what i decided to do was think of an exercise that wouldn't require me using workout shoes and i thought of yoga and i said to myself you know what for this easter holiday my workout is literally going to be yoga that was my experience so here are a few tips you need to note for yourself if you are the one traveling so there are several reasons you may travel you may be traveling for work or like a business trip you may be traveling to visit friends to visit family you may be traveling just um for the holiday for a vacation or something whatever reason it is that you are traveling you have to understand your routine in that time would you have enough time to squeeze in a workout or two is your destination gonna have a gym you can use while you are there do you are you going to have like a park or are you gonna be able to run outside so these are factors to consider the availability of these facilities that can help you get some workout in here and there consciously plan your days if you have four days away from home or two weeks away from home just have time slots where you get the workout scheduled and know that within this time if i'm going to wake up at 6 a.m 7 a.m 9 a.m within the next 30 minutes or one hour of waking up i'm going to get some workout done schedule it and don't just leave it to chance because you know whatever gets scheduled gets done it's synonymous to goal setting if you set goals and you are specific about it you measure it and you take action those goals are likely to be achieved so same thing applies in this scenario so get the workout scheduled and get it done and i'm very sure you will whatever the case is you may just decide that you want time away from working out it's totally fine just make the decision ahead of time before you actually make the trip so that you don't pack your stuff with a workout shoe and some workout outfits and then you get to your destination and because you weren't sure on where you stood regarding working out you don't get to work out at all it's not a good feeling when you plan to do something and you literally don't get around to doing it so just decide ahead and go with it it's better than half-heartedly traveling and intending to work out and not getting the workout done at all in my next video i'm going to share my experience using a yoga app for the very first time i'm looking forward to that video because i can't wait to express myself to show you exactly how that workout went leave a comment in the comment section if you have any tip to add for travelers looking to squeeze in a little workout subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up if you like it thank you and see you in my next video Mwah.